Hi guys, so I'm back here and we, we I'm back here with another tutorial uh, for Game Maker and today we're gonna be making bricks. Bricks for punk, that is. Ah, that's right. I'm invincible here. Anyway, so we have to add bricks, and uh, first thing we're, we're gonna have to do, as, as usual, is to create this sprite for the for the bricks. So we edit the image, uh, we get it from the from a, a sprite sheet, and yeah. So we're gonna create some of the uh, non-destructible. Bricks. Uh, but there are none here, are there? Wait. Nope. Then we're gonna be using this as the indestructible brick. So eight. We're gonna get these. This is gonna be our non-destructible brick. Yeah. Okay. That's good. The uh, collision mask is the full mask, and we're gonna leave the um, origin in the top left corner. It's. I think it's just fair enough. So good, we got it. Now let's create the object. Uh, we create the uh, object with the sprite. That's it. And we're gonna do something here, which is we're gonna mark it as solid. Marking it as solid has um, several implications. The one, the, the important one for us is that we are gonna be able to. Oh, by the way, the the, the name SPR uh, break. Uh, the, the, we are going to be able to determine whether a um, our sprite is colliding with something that is solid, and we don't care what it is. If it's solid, we want it. We want to know it. Okay. So this is usually um, pretty uh, useful to do things like walls and and floors and and platforms. Yeah, platforms too. Um, so things where you're gonna that, that are gonna be um, things you wanna bounce off or things you want to um, uh, sit on top or stand on top or things like that. You, you don't want to use that for enemies probably because you may want to have things that go through enemies like say a weapon, but you definitely want um, to use it for uh, for the for the ground because you don't want your your character to go through the ground. Um, at least not in most cases. So anyway, um, got the brick. That's all right. So far, so far we don't have to do anything else. We add a couple of bricks to our room. I'm gonna be doing I don't know. Oh, that's a bit small. <laughs> that's the. Uh, Oh, yeah, I need something here. Let's make it twice the size. Edit image, image, resize all frames, scale image, uh, we're gonna make it 64 times 16. Yep, that's it. We still uh, got it and go to room. And uh, yes, that's better. Yep, I'm gonna put it here, and we're gonna put another one, for instance, here. So, if we just put them there, that's that's not gonna have any effect on on our characters or our wall, because it it's not we're not colliding against it. That's fair enough. We want to uh, we have to write the code to collide against uh, our bricks. So let's start with the character. <coughs> uh, 
I'm <coughs> sorry. So, um, uh, this is kind of weird because, um, it, if we're going to be, um, the problem is if we're going to be using these, um, yeah, that's, that's all right. Let's, let's do it. Let's use this, this function. So. It's exclusion against solid objects. If I recall correctly, um, the, no, what was this uh, place empty, maybe? And say with any other instance, no. We don't want and place empty. Position empty, maybe. No. Or place free. That's right. You can check. Uh, you can use this function to check and see if the calling instance would be would collide with any instance flagged as solid in your game. Yeah, that's all right. So, yeah, we just have to check if um, this place uh, our place is free. So if that's why so if not place free so um so the thing here is um if we don't have a free place, so if, if, the, if we are colliding with something, then we have to find a valid position. A, an option would be to leave the previous position. The, the, we're going to call it uh, prep x is going to be x minus h speed. Uh, and prep y is going to be y minus uh, v speed. Okay? So. If our previous our previous position, we're gonna start from the assumption that our previous position is valid. Okay, in in this game, this should be alright as long as the first position of the character is is uh, a valid position, and the um, and and the and the bricks don't move, which is something that we can uh, that we can say from this um, from this game, the bricks are fixed. Then we can we can say that the, that the uh, previous position is always going to be a valid position because we start in a valid position and as long as we move and guarantee that the next position is valid the previous position of our of our current position is going to be valid <clears throat> basically we uh, if we start at valid at the valid position and we make sure that uh, that always the next position is valid we're always going to find that our previous position is valid too. so um And the thing is, but we don't want to leave it. I mean, if we set it back to a previous position, yeah, it, it work. But it's not really what we want. What we want is to find the nearest valid position that we can. Okay. So uh, we may have. The, there are two options here. We may we may be moving left and right, and if um, if we're moving left or right, and then we we uh, hit something then we have to stop and go back or we may be um, calling something because it's going down so we're gonna give priority to moving left and right so if we're moving left and right and we can avoid the collisions uh, by taking back the movement left and right or right then we're gonna be doing that 
otherwise we're gonna try to um, avoid the collisions by by moving up or uh, yeah I'm assuming that we're, that we're moving always down which is not necessarily true but anyway by moving up okay so we're gonna going back uh, to our previous Y position and then if that is still doesn't uh, work we're gonna again go try to go um, try to move again with the with our previous y position in the x direction until we get a final pallet position okay so first check if we can fix this only moving in the x-axis so if place free grab of x uh, y then find the nearest position in the x-axis okay else if if not then we're gonna check uh, in the y direction We um so basically we're gonna be um so what are we doing here? We're saying okay, we're sure that the previous if we keep the same y but go back in the x position to our previous x position we have a valid position, good. But we don't want to uh, leave the character in our previous X position, which could be an option, but well, let's let's actually do that and then we'll see what is the problem and how, we f uh, how to fix it. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, I forgot. Um, if that is the case, I speed is zero. If this is the case, V speed is zero. If this is the case, H speed is zero, B speed is zero. Hmm. We didn't see it very well. Let's uh, let's try to see this uh, again. Damn it! I didn't hit the right button. So, uh, yeah. So you can see this is where uh, we are. We're gonna go uh, one step at a time. Okay, so we're gonna go. Um, I'm gonna put another breakpoint so that we. You see the next step we're going down a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Then we accelerate. We go up again and we hit this um, position and then here we are. We are back in the in a in a position where um, we cannot go down any further. And we stay here. So yeah, um, let's see it again from the start. This character is accelerating, accelerating. going faster and then oops it stops and then it starts accelerating again it's it's like this is if 
uh, it, it was stopped by an invisible wall before you reach the brick and then you start falling again because there is room to fall and then you you um, start uh, you, you get stopped again when you find the brick that's all right um, that's but that's uh, and it, it, since it happens quite quickly you don't notice it but it may you may end, end up seeing it and it's kind of um it's not what we want now is it this is definitely not what you how you like it to work so let's start by fixing it so that we can so the thing is how are we gonna fix this all right so the thing is we want to find the nearest uh, safe position to do it um i believe there is a um there is a function to do so in game maker or to find something like that but we don't want to do that. i don't want you to do this i want you to understand at least a method of doing this which um gives a certain uh, margin a, a low margin of error okay so think about this we have a movement in a in a line right because we've moved in a line that's basically moving in a segment and we have a function to check whether uh, a position along that line is valid or not so we can do basically what we have is a um, is um, a search search for the best position we can find and we can give it an error so um, what are we gonna do we, um, we're gonna create a, a, a script this is gonna be um, find uh, nearest uh, no, furthest free pause along line so basically we're gonna do this we're gonna have have a script that gives us the furthest position to go along a line and argument zero is gonna be any x is gonna be argument zero any y is gonna be argument one And x is going to be argument 2. And, and y is going to be argument 3. So these are the argument, the, um, the line. Um... And we are going to change so we are assuming that in any X and any Y are free And we are going to get a um, we're going to get a maximum error. Okay, so what is the maximum error we are going to be allowing um, for this um, for this uh, position to be free? So what does that mean? I mean, since this is a um, we we can have real, we have real numbers here, so we have we can be in the position. 231.7 um, uh, 173.26 so really that's it's not like they're in, in a round numbers like in that in, in 173 174 it's like they, they got real numbers so we can have a margin of error that is um, real a real value so we're gonna be trying to um, we're gonna be using a um, binary search algorithm to find the position with the lowest uh, with with where we have or we are still free but we are uh, and, and the distance between the free and the um, not free position the next free position is lower than this the given uh, maximum error so
let's give um, the error the initial um, it's gonna be um, distance length whatever I don't know as QRT so um, This is the uh, error distance. So while um, new x is going to be by the for the any x and is the any y. Okay, so this is a safe position. While the error distance is bigger than the maximum error, let's do it. so. Uh, new x. Is going to be uh, any x plus any y. Sorry, plus, sorry. There's no point five times any x plus any uh, mx. middle point we find the middle point so u y is 1.5 times any y plus n y okay so we find the middle point check if it's free if if it's free we can uh, we swap our any uh, initial point for the new one. So um, any x is uh, new x, any y is new y. Else, what we swap is the uh, if it's not free, we swap our final point. And x is uh, new x, and y is new y. Recalculate the uh, direction and the error. The x is um, and x minus in x. The y is and y minus any y and error list is gonna be this much. And that's it. And then finally We don't really need that. We don't really need this. We can have it here. That's it. So what are we doing? Again, we're checking the middle point. If the middle point is free, we we are assuming the the. Uh, by the way, we are assuming here that the movement has been small enough so that we have only collided with one object, and this collision is only gonna and, and we have to go only a little bit backwards to um to to find a, a safe position. So what are we doing here? We are um, <coughs> we're getting the middle position, checking if it's free. If it's free, then instead of instead of checking the whole segment, we go we we check the segment from the middle till the end. If it's not free, we check this we check the segment from the initial to the middle. 
recalculate the error and if it's if it's not small enough then repeat and when this error is small enough then we'll go out this error distance is always going to be um, a half of what we had before so we could actually um, we could even swap this by this one of the things we could do if uh, is saying if x error is less or equal than zero then um, so the bug message invalid max error is to be positive instead we save and a string and return so we are checking that this error is valid we got a positive value and then we do um, a binary search and yeah this binary search is going to have a um a logarithmic uh cost based on the distance that we're moving so if we're moving say 16 pixels and we have a um an error of 0.5 it's going to be like six uh it's going to have like six um iterations maybe seven let's see if it works because uh yeah that's what we made it for right so we do a um So we are going to be setting the new position, so it's like a fine, furthest, free, pause, a long line. And we're just going to say initial position is going to be uh, pref x, pref y, and the new position is going to be x, pref, uh, sorry, x, pref y, x, y. So we're only moving in the y direction. Oh, and we need a ma uh, maximum error. We're going to set it to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 pixels, I think, is uh, small enough. Here, we're going to do the same. But instead, we have prep x, y, x, y. And 0 0.5. And finally, Finally here, what we do is basically the same but within the whole line. Let's see um, if it works. Okay, right now it's a bit hard to say if it works or it doesn't. So let's go uh, let's debug it to see if it works. Go one step after another. Another one, and hopefully, this one is going to be, uh, yeah, all right. So it seems to be working. Cool. Yeah, that's great. Let's um, let's add another another um, obstacle to check if it works in the um, x direction too, because right now we haven't really checked. So let's put um, something here. So the the head of the character is gonna collide with a uh, with a brick, so he shouldn't be able to go there. Cool. Oh, but now he can go out. So 
so there must be a um, there is an error unless we have different collision masks for uh no we do have the same one right 1050 1050 so yeah it, they are the same at least with respect to the origin oh wait no 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 33 so if it's let's see oh yeah we've got a problem uh, Let's see um, if with this it works, but I'm not. Sh no, it's not gonna work. Problem here is uh, collision mask is not sy same symmetrical, which is uh, which is a problem in the X. So if it's sixty four, uh, the origin should be in the middle, and. Uh, so if this is 63, this is the top, right? So we're going to go 10 and this is 0. 53 would be here, right? So we uh, we can either leave it like this, 1053, 10, 53. It should be symmetrical, but I'm not sure if the center is 31 or 32. I think it's 31. It's been 31 worth. Let's see what happens. Yep. Well. So do you remember before when we said that uh, if we had a previous position, so that we were assuming our previous position was valid, well, the changing of the sprites was making these not true, and that's what happened. And this is why uh, right now we do have, uh, when we have changed the sprites to make them exactly the same and symmetrical in both sides, and we... Um, And we have made them also symmetrical with uh, with the idle sprite. It's working. So now we have these working for the for the character, for the main player. Um, we need to apply this to the ball. So I um. I think I'm gonna leave these for our next uh, for our next video because it's getting a bit long. So that will be our final video. We will um, spend some time replicating this very same um, this very same um, proce procedure with a ball. It should be it should be shorter than the than the current one. Um, and then that would that should make uh, balls uh, able to bounce off uh, bricks. So, yeah, I think that I think that's gonna be enough for today. I hope that you enjoyed this this tutorial, and I hope to um, to see you in the next one. Bye.